Hey there, so in this video we're going to show you how to actually assemble a geodesic dome. In the last video what we did is we actually, actually David here, he showed you how to make one from scratch. And um, so what are we doing here now David? What's the idea here? Okay, we're going to demonstrate now the strength of the structure of the dome. Uh, we're got, we've rigged up this pallet. Uh, we have some, uh, some slabs here, paving slabs at the side. As you can see Eva can comfortably sit up in it without it falling down. And we're going to go as much as we can just to illustrate that you can put, you know, it's still, well this size is rated up to about 650 kilos, but in this case we're going to go for about 200 kilos. Yeah. Right, okay, as you can see now we've managed to get the 200 kilos of weight onto the pallet, and there's no visible effects on the dome still structurally strong and it just goes to prove you know these small little one inch bars flattened drilled and pressed with a, with a zinc coated galvanized nut and bolt uh, can support that kind of weight expand this kind of area without any uh, internal supporting structure wind resistant easy to heat aesthetically good looking just outside the door now we're going to show you a larger dome that we're currently working on uh, just to show you the the ability of this to be scaled up from such a small dome like this, a 15 foot dome, we're going to show you one now twice the size, just outside the door. Okay, a dome of this size could be used for many different applications. Uh, they can be used for accommodation, as event centres or to, you know, to host a music event, uh, to grow vegetables on a larger scale. This particular dome is going to be featuring a second storey, self-supported in the middle. Um, just take full advantage of the 15 foot internal height of these. So now we're going to show you how to assemble this dome. Okay, today we're going to show you how to build a 30 foot diameter, 4 frequency geodesic dome. In the previous video we've explained how to prepare the material. On the ground here we have the finished product, bar length A, B, C, D, E and F. And here we have an assembly diagram which shows the letters corresponding with each bar length. We're going to start the, the uh, assembly by building the bottom section uh, using bar length D to complete a circle. Okay, we've laid out the circle and we're now going to start on the next level which is these uprights here. So we're going to start at where we're going to propose the door. I'm going to put two bar E and follow the sequence all the way along the bottom and then join them with those lines across this top section here. Okay, we've, we've assembled the bottom layer now, the bottom triangles, and we're joining them with the top bar every second one initially to make the triangle strong. And then we're going to add every second one again alternately to pull that into a full upright circle. Okay, as we developed the shape, uh, we realised that the ground wasn't quite level and luckily as this is a test fit for the dome, we can adjust this. Work. So temporarily we've put it up using blocks to, to level the base, uh, but if you're going to install these domes, especially over this kind of area, you know, make sure the ground is good and level before you start, or else build a block base that you can put it on. Ooh, the sweet sound of success. I we'll just put the nylock there just to, for safety's sake in case the bar popped out as we're going along. Especially at this height it might slap down and hit you on the head. So as you can see just around the nut there's very little tolerance. It's a 10mm hole, 10 mil nut through it. It's 4 inches long just to give us enough bite to get through regardless. Now it's very difficult sometimes to get these in because you have to pull, pull the angle in so that the bolt is going straight through the whole lot of them. Uh, and uh, the further you get up the dome is curving in, there's more of an angle again. So you have to really start to pull them in, you'll see it as we go along. So how come the actual, you know, the bolt and the actual hole, why is it so tight there? Yeah, um, it's, it's, to, it's to maintain the, the, the point distance, like it's all about the strut length. And like, you don't really want to have too much play at the point of joining here, you know. So, like, uh, if, if it was 12 mil or 11 mil, you know, you're going to get, the bar is going to be moving up, up and down, left and right. It is a bit tight at the 10 mil. 
but it's just right. Like it, it, it adds to the structure, and you're not going to have any over strength, any twitching yeah. in the bars. Like you know, if, if the, the washer doesn't catch it tight enough, you know, uh, the 10 mil is just going to hold it, and it's going to hold it spot on. So yeah. it is a bit of a struggle, but it's worth the effort, you know, just to keep it accurate. Okay, just a little tip there about uh, about assembling these as you're going a bit higher. It's probably best to join them in the centre first, and then put them on on the lower level. If you know what I mean, because you like you're be struggling to get them on here, and then it's a slightly bit higher. It's way above your head by the time you get to join these. You might be overreaching. You could potentially fall off the ladder. So put the bolt in the, in the middle first, and do the two bottom ones as you're going. Okay, so what we did here now, as you can see, is put a single band around the bottom, straight line, and they were all the same length, bar length, D. The next layer we built up was in triangles. So they built this triangle, this one, etc., all the around. And there was no tension at that stage, it was flapping around. So we added this line across the middle here, and that pulled all the points of those triangles in nice and tight. Then we built the next layer of triangles, as you can see, all the way around. And then we added an extra bar along the top of each of those triangles and that pulled it in even tighter. And now we're on the third layer of triangles. We're adding every second one uh, a bar and now we're going to go alternate again and put the whole other straight line and that's going to pull it in even more until finally the whole dome comes in on top of itself and you get a nice solid roof on it. Okay, we've gone as far as we can go now in the test fitting of the dome. This is a 30 foot diameter dome by the way. Uh, we've checked that the struts are correct, that they're accurate and that they all match up at, the, at this joining section here. We've put the bolts through, we've put a nut on just for safety but we haven't tightened them because we're going to disassemble it this afternoon, uh, ready to be put up on site next week. Um, on next week's video we're going to show you how to cover it with the shrink wrap plastic, how to install the windows and the doors. Um, and we hope you liked the video. Uh, check out the website, it's geodesicireland.com uh, and tune in for the next video.